Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have all new summer inspired Dollar Tree DIYs to share with you. Like always, all of these DIYs are going to be really easy to recreate and there was definitely a theme in mind when I came up with these. So all of these DIYs were designed to go together and really complement each other. But before we get started, if you are new here, please do consider subscribing down below and don't forget to turn on that notification bell. Okay, let's jump right into the first DIY. So as soon as I saw this pineapple tumbler, I knew it had such great potential. The shape of it is beautiful. I like the size of it and it is nice and sturdy. So the bottom here, if you press it, it actually does light up, but I'm not gonna do that on camera because it does kind of change a bunch of different colors. So we're just gonna ignore that part because what I'm really interested in is the shape. They also had this palm tree here, which I loved the shape of as well. So I figured let's just DIY both of these and turn these into something new. The first thing I wanted to do was to give these items some weight. They are pretty lightweight and they do kind of topple over really easily. So we're gonna go ahead and just add some of these glass pebbles from Dollar Tree. Now Dollar Tree has a bunch of things you can use for this you can even just use some stones from outside but anything just to add to the middle just to weigh it down a bit over here I have just one bag of the glass pebbles from Dollar Tree I did end up splitting them between the palm tree and the pineapple but if you want to give it some extra weight go ahead and grab two bags of those and add one bag each now that I have my glass pebbles in place, I'm going to go ahead and put the top back on. But I did save two of the glass pebbles because we need to cover up the hole for the straw. Once these are glued on and painted, they are going to look like they were part of the original design. They really do blend in beautifully. So I just used some hot glue to attach my pebbles in place. Then these are going to be ready to paint. Now for me, the hot glue was fine. It kept them in place, but if you feel like you need a stronger glue, something like E6000 would be perfect for this. And for my color, I'm just gonna be using this gold spray paint. This is my favorite gold spray paint ever. You guys who have been here with me have seen me use this a bunch of times, but it has a gorgeous finish. I will leave it linked down below if I can find a link for it. I believe I originally picked it up at Walmart. So here was my pineapple after two coats of the gold spray paint and it really transformed this tumbler into something totally different. The pineapple looks like something you would find at Home Goods. It looks like it's really made of metal. It has a great weight to it. And like I promised, the top is totally camouflaged. You would never know that that pebble was not part of the original design. These are really fun to style. I love the palm tree. The pineapple is great if you want to use it as a bookend. Just really weight it down with those glass pebbles and get two of them and put them on either side of a stack of books and I think they would look great. I love the palm tree styled with this light up flamingo from Dollar Tree. If you haven't picked this one up yet, definitely be on the lookout. It is so adorable. And this next DIY was actually inspired by these Dollar Tree Flamingo cocktail stir sticks. When I saw them, I knew I had to come up with something to incorporate them into. They were just too adorable. And I really hope you guys are going to love this DIY as much as I do. So for this DIY, I'm actually gonna be using two of these pink plastic plates from Dollar Tree, but you don't need these. If you wanna use something more sturdy, definitely check out the ceramic plates that they have at Dollar Tree or check out your local thrift store. I just wanted to really use these because I love the color and I love the scalloped edge. Now these are the other item from Dollar Tree we're gonna be using, these Flamingo Cocktail Stir Sticks. They actually do have these in a darker pink as well. This one was my favorite, but you definitely can't go wrong. Either one is adorable. Now we're also gonna be needing a couple of other things. Now these little candlesticks are actually from Hobby Lobby. Dollar Tree does not sell these. This pack of five was $3.99, but usually Hobby Lobby has their items 40 or 50% off. That day, I believe I got these for 50% off, so about $2. And then I'm also gonna need one wood bead. Now Dollar Tree does sell wood beads. These were just left over from Christmas. I believe these were also a Hobby Lobby purchase, but you can use any wood bead you have for this. It will work. 
So now the first thing I have to do is just paint these. And since we are keeping with a theme today, I'm going to go ahead and use that same gold spray paint. But again, any color you like will work for this. I do think the gold looks really pretty with the pink though. They have a beautiful contrast together. So I'm just going to go ahead and take these outside and give them two coats of gold spray paint and just wait for them to dry completely. And now we are ready to assemble our mini tear tray. So like I said, we're going to need two of these plates. And now we just have to attach our mini candlestick to our first plate and then we're going to move on to our flamingo. Now to do this, you might want to use something a little bit stronger than hot glue like E6000, but I figured hot glue would work for this one since I won't be putting anything too heavy on this tray. So I just went ahead and glued my mini candlestick right in the center. Then I'm going to be adding some hot glue to the top. And if you are using these plates, you'll see that they actually do have a little area in the center marked off. So it makes it really easy to line it up when you are gluing them together. So I'm just going to hold that in place for a few seconds until it was dry. And now we can get our flamingo stir stick and I have to trim this down. And I actually wasn't too sure how I was going to do that. So I just took some wire snips and they actually cut through it really easily and i did this twice and i had no issues whatsoever it didn't break the plastic in half it just went ahead and snipped it right where i needed to cut it and you'll see that there is a little ball joint right in the stir stick and i did cut it a little bit under that that way it's easier to glue into our wood bead so now i'm going to go ahead and just attach my wood bead to the center of my plate and then very carefully i tried to put a little bit of hot glue into the center of the wood bead and then just insert my flamingo stick. And of course I did hold it in place just for about 30 seconds to let that hot glue dry so it would be nice and straight. And here is our mini flamingo tear tray. How adorable is this one? I really do love how this one turned out. The only thing is I do wish that the plates were porcelain instead of plastic but I do think it's adorable. I will be using this as a small trinket tray, but I actually do plan on recreating this same DIY using some decorative plates I found at the thrift store, just to make it a little bit sturdier. And for that one, I will be using a permanent glue like E6000. Next up, we are going to be creating a DIY candle. And I'm going to be starting off with this glass candle holder from Dollar Tree. They usually have this one in stock. You don't need this one. They actually have a rounded one as well, which would work great for this DIY. Now, I wanted to kind of keep it in theme, of course. So we will be adding some painted gold stripes down the side. And I wanted to mark out where those stripes were going to be. So I'm just using some painter's tape to make some lines. And I am using an extra piece of painter's tape in between each line just to make sure I am measuring correctly and just to make sure everything is spaced out perfectly. So now that my painter's tape is on, I'm going to go ahead and cover up the bottom as well. You don't need to do this, but I figured it would be better just to have a nice clean bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and just cover up those little triangles with mini pieces of tape. And now my glass is ready to paint. And since we are keeping in theme, I'm going to go ahead and just grab that same gold spray paint that we've been using in this video and take this outside and give it a couple coats of gold spray paint just to give it some stripes. But of course, use any color that you like. I ended up just using my gold spray paint, but if you like, you can definitely use a clear coat on top just to seal in that color and make sure it is extra durable. So now I'm going to go ahead and just remove my painter's tape. This is my favorite part. And if you have a few areas that kind of leaked or where the lines did not stay nice and crisp, it is okay. I usually get a few spots like that. They are pretty easy to clean up on these smooth glass surfaces. So I just take a craft knife to scrape off any extra paint or even just your thumbnail will work for this. And it usually comes off without too much effort. Now that our glass is decorated, we are ready to add our candle. So for the inside of our candle, I'm going to be using two of these glass candles from Dollar Tree. This is just their plain wax candles. These ones have no scent or color. You could actually get these in a few different colors, but I am going to be using some of their wax meltables to add my color and my scent. So these ones have quite a bit of scent in them, so they will be good for this whole candle and they do actually kind of give it a nice color as well. Now, if you wanna go ahead and just skip that step, 
just grab one of their pillar candles and just put that into your glass jar. That looks great as well. You can even use a flameless one as long as it's small enough and will fit. But I did want to show you the process of actually adding your own wax to this candle just in case you want it to. So the way I do it is just I get a big pot of water and this is just lukewarm water and I'm going to start to simmer my water on low. I don't want this to boil. I want to keep this water pretty low. That way the wax has time to melt and it doesn't form too many bubbles. And plus we want to be as safe as possible. So again, you will see the water will never boil. It's just going to simmer and let the wax start to melt really slowly. Find that the bottom part is melting, but you're getting some wax caught up top. Use something like a popsicle stick just to gently encourage it down. You don't want to force it down because you don't want that hot wax to bubble up on you, but you can gently push it down. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab my wax melts. This is in the caramel scent. And all I did was just break it in half and add it to two of my candles. Now you'll see I did melt three candles down. I wasn't really sure how much I was going to need, but in the end, I just ended up needing two of them. So now we need to add a wick to our glass jar and you can just take the wick out of one of those glass candles and reuse that one. I actually have a bag of wicks already on hand from previous crafts. So I'm going to go ahead and just use one of those. I'll leave these linked down below. I just order them from Amazon. And when you order them from Amazon, they actually usually come with little sticky dots that you can add to the bottom. Mine unfortunately didn't, so I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit of hot glue to add this to the bottom of my glass candle holder. Now I'm going to start to slowly add in my melted wax. And like I mentioned before, I'm only going to be using the two that I added the wax meltables to. And I'm going to go ahead and just take that wick out first so it doesn't fall into my candle while I'm pouring. And now while this is solidifying, you do want to support that wick straight up. So to do that, I'm just using two popsicle sticks and you want to let this cool overnight so it can completely solidify. And this third one here that I melted, I'm just going to go ahead and let that harden back up so I can use it in a future craft. So now that my candle is all hardened, I'm going to go ahead and just trim that wick so it is ready to use. And here is how it turned out. I really do love this DIY because it is so customizable. You can really choose whichever color or scent you're looking for. And this one would make a great gift as well. For this next DIY, you want to go ahead and grab one of these large plastic platters and this pineapple drink tumbler from Dollar Tree. Now this one's a little bit different from the one that we used in the beginning of the video. This one just has the plastic top to it and you can actually use that same pumpkin from the start of the video for this DIY. Either one would work. And I do actually have a bunch of different platters at Dollar Tree. Just pick one that is the size that you are looking for. I want to go ahead and get this big one here. So the first thing I want to do is just paint everything. So for my platter, I'm going to be going with a matte white color. And then for our pineapple, of course, there was only really one option here in this video. We are going to be using the gold color. But before I paint it, I do want to just insert some of those same glass pebbles that I used in the other DIYs just to give it some weight. We want to make sure that this is nice and sturdy. So now I'm going to go ahead and grab that same gold spray paint and take these outside and give them both two coats of paint. If you wanted to, you could even skip painting the pineapple, leave it yellow and then paint the tray green. Or if you can just find a green tray, that would work as well to kind of look like the top of the pineapple. That might be fun. So here is my gold base of my pineapple and my white plate. I did go ahead and paint both sides. And now before we attach these together, I want to grab some wood beads. Now this step is totally optional. You're not even going to really notice it that much, but I wanted to cover up the grooves of the cap of the pineapple. So you'll see them when I turn it to the side here. It is slightly noticeable, but honestly, if you wanted to, you could just totally skip this step. But I did have extra wood beads and I thought it would be a nice touch just to go ahead and glue these around the edge. Now, something to keep in mind is there might be a slight gap depending on the size of your wood beads. That's what happened to me here. So just keep that in mind when you are gluing them and when you are choosing the size of wood bead that you want to use for this DIY. 
So now that I have them all attached, I'm going to go ahead and add some E6000 as well as some hot glue to the top of my pineapple and then just insert it onto the bottom of my tray. So here is our fancy pineapple serving tray. I think this looks so elevated. It'd be great as a serving platter and I will definitely be using this while entertaining this summer. And that is everything for today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed these fun summer inspired Dollar Tree DIYs. I'm actually working on some new Dollar Tree DIYs right now. And I do have another fun flamingo craft for all of my fellow flamingo lovers out there. I think that they are just so fun to decorate with in the summertime. So definitely stay tuned for that one. And I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. And if you're not yet subscribed, please do subscribe. You can click on my picture right here.